Volcanoes are channels to the core of our planet, and as such, they bear incredibly destructive and violent powers inside of them. While volcanic activity on Earth appears to be rather infrequent from a human life perspective, in the grand scheme of things, they are a dominant force of Mother Nature. The release of their explosive powers is forming and eradicating islands and land stretches. Eruptions can create global winters and bring entire ecosystems to extinction. On the other hand, the nutrient-rich volcanic soil is very fertile and allows nature to flourish. Since volcanic activities impact so many aspects of life on Earth, we'll explore seven fascinating facts and stories about these giants. The first fact briefly looks into the origin of the name volcano. The previously mentioned fertility and destructive powers, volcanoes and fires in general, have been very known to the Romans in ancient times. That is why their god of fire, Vulcan, was attributed with these opposing qualities. Based on this, the volcanically active island Vulcano, in front of the Sicilian coast, was thought to be the home of this god. As time went on, the name of the island, Vulcano, slowly developed into the accepted term for fire and smoke spitting mountains that can be found in the center. With progress in the field of geography, the name volcano developed into a collective term describing various different volcanic activities. For the second fact, we'll briefly look at the differences between these nine variants that can be found on Earth. Fissure vents are linear cracks in the Earth mantle with slow and non-explosive outflows of lava. Shield volcanoes are standing out with their slow-flowing lava and a rather flat overall layout. These volcanoes also do not tend to explode. Lava domes are created by slow eruptions of high viscosity lava. This can result in the formation of a cone within the crater of another volcano, like in the Mount St. Helens. Cryptodomes are volcanoes that form from bulging surface due to the collection of lava in underground pockets. Cinder cones are a shape of volcano that form from heavy eruptions and can be identified by their steep and smooth walls. These can also appear on the side of other volcanoes. Underwater volcanoes are common on the ocean floor. The immense pressure of the water prevents the rise of steam and ashes, so instead it forms sculptures underwater. In shallow areas though, the debris can spit above the ocean surface. Subglacial volcanoes form underneath glaciers and subsequently melt the ice. The result is often a so-called flat table mountain which can be found in Iceland or Canada today. Second to last, there are the stratovolcanoes, which is the best fit to what we expect a volcano to look like. Stratovolcanoes are some of the largest specimens since they have been growing with new layers for millions of years. The layout of these allow extreme pressure to build up, which is why potential eruptions are some of the most explosive and devastating. The devastating effects of stratovolcanoes can only be topped by the so-called supervolcanoes, which are by far the largest volcano class on the planet Earth. Giant magma chambers deep down in the crust can build up so much pressure that an eruption will have sudden and continental impact on climate which will threaten all areas of life. For the third fact, we're sticking with a class of supervolcanoes. The supervolcano most likely to erupt next actually lays in Europe. The Italian Campi Figrei is an area near the city of Naples where a giant underground magma basin is slowly filling up which covers an area of 150 square kilometers. Increased ground temperatures and exposed sulfur sediments give reason for an increased volcanic activity. A full-scale eruption of this basin may have a worse impact than the biggest eruption witnessed in recent history, which brings us to our next fact. While the immediate impact of a volcanic eruption such as flying rocks, pyroclastic flows and flowing lava appears more like a regional threat, the long-term impacts are what can eliminate entire biospheres. One of these destructive events doesn't even date too far back. In April of the year 1815, the Indonesian Tambora erupted with one of the most intense eruptions since the beginning of human civilization. 150 cubic kilometers of dust and ashes dimmed large parts of Europe and North American land masses, which subsequently brought failed harvests and a continental famine. The resulting cooling lasted more than half a decade and crop yields took many years to recover. 
For the fifth fact of the episode, we're looking more into the geographical distribution of volcanoes around the world. Naturally, volcanoes are located over tectonic crust edges, where two plates are either diverging or converging from each other. The third creation mechanism is based on magma turbulences creating hotspots under the crust, which slowly puncture the outermost layer for lava to flow out to the surface. Since these limited creation mechanisms don't quite promise a global spread of volcanoes, a surprising 98 countries in the world have active, extinct or dormant volcanoes on their landmass or coastal territory. Since volcanoes can also form in the middle of tectonic plates, not all volcanoes are claimed by a country. Discovered in 2013, one of these unclaimed volcanoes in the middle of the Pacific Ocean is actually the largest volcano in volume. The Tamu Massif spreads over an area of 300 square kilometers, which is around the size of Germany. The biggest reason why this volcano hasn't been recognized before are the very flat slopes of its cone between 0.5 and 2 degrees as well as the fact that the summit is located 2 kilometers under the ocean surface, which made the testing of sediments and rocks very difficult. To end the video on a positive note, we'll take a look at the incredible beauty coming from some erupting volcanoes. After the eruption of the Kasachi volcano in Alaska, the suspended ash particles in the air scattered the sun rays during sunrise and sunset in a way which amplified its red color spectrum tremendously to create orange and coral colored sunsets with a saturation never seen before. I hope you enjoyed your daily dose of geography knowledge. See you next time.